Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm taking you to Western Museum of Flight here at Torrance, California. This aviation museum is located at Zampirini Field, number 3315 Airport Drive, Torrance, California, 90505. The Western Museum of Light is a non-profit educational institution dedicated to preserving and displaying aircraft's history and artifacts of Southern California's aviation heritage. The Flight Museum's educational programs give children an opportunity to see and touch the airplanes that made aviation history. The Flight Museum offers an inside look at completed and in-progress aircraft's restoration projects. The Western Museum of Flight's collection includes numerous wirebirds, aircrafts and target drones, piston and jet aircraft engines, aircraft components, aircraft ejection seat, World War II instruments, aircrew accessories, and an extensive model aircraft collection. The Western Museum of Light was located at Zamperini Field. And did you know that Zamperini Field was named after Louis Zamperini? Yes, it was. Louis Zamperini was born January 26, 1917. He was American World War II veteran and an Olympic distance runner. He took up running in high school and qualified for United States in the 5,000-mile race for 1936 Berlin Olympics, finishing 8th place while setting a new lap record in the process. Did you know also that Louis Zamperini cheated that several times while serving as a B-24 bombardier? Yes! During World War II, Zamperini served as a B-24 Liberator bombardier in the Army Air Corps 372nd Bomb Squadron. From his perch on the nose of the craft nicknamed Superman, he flew several missions including a famous December 1942 air raid on Wake Island after which his plane nearly ran out of fuel before limping back to the Midway Atoll. Here at Western Museum of Light, there's a lot of history of NASA, aviation, and many other aircraft production that the public would not have a clue, but interesting to know if you decided to go. Reminder, there is an entry fee of $5 per person and free for the kids under 12 years old. This isn't the largest aviation museum by any means, but it has some rare treasures on display. For example, one of the two YF-23s ever made. Some of the aircrafts like YF-23 and YF-17 are on at the back lot. Ask nicely and a volunteer will show you around. There is also a large library with innumerable aviation books and a very fairly priced gift shop. If you were in the area and even slightly interested in aviation, then this is a must-see museum. You can also see the F-14 here. We all know that the F-14 was used in the Top Gun movie. If you are a Top Gun fan, you must see this. Space Shuttle, International Space Station, and Hubble missions. For nearly two decades, thousands of people around the world.
love everybody who loves their plants. <laughs> Everything in space. Planes are in space. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, these I have no The moon, Mars, and. Uh, I'm If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell for you to be updated every time I have a new uploaded video. Thank you and I'll see you to the next one.